welcome to Tiger the Sacrifice Eye. Well, Tiger Eye the Sacrifice, but I prefer Tiger the Sacrifice Eye myself. Sounds like a terrible, terrible TV show. Welcome to Tiger. He's a Sacrifice Eye. And gets into lots of hijinks. As you can see, I have done a test run. I haven't played all of this by any manner of means. I played like the first 10, 20 minutes. Um, why are we eating cake off chests? I, you know what? Whatever. It's all good. Let the girl eat a cake in peace. Right. Options. What are the options? Music volume. Can everyone hear the game? Like, if I do that. How's that? I'm gonna say that's good. I'm gonna leave the tutorials on, custom cursor on, automatic error and blah. Right, let's play this. Now as you can see, it's casual, advanced, and expert. We haven't unlocked expert. Um, because you need 30 hit points, hint points. But I'm gonna go with advanced, where no sparkles are visible over areas of interest, and the tutorial is off. But, um... Let's go with it. The qu it's quiet but audible. Right, let me fiddle. What about that? How does that go? Trust me, you'll be hearing a lot of fantastically bad voices. Yes, the game requires multiple. Well, I say requires. I don't think you get anything extra for completing the multiple. I'll listen to this epic music. Epic. Right, so how does that sound in terms of sound and voice? Because that music's pretty loud, so... Good. Fantastic. Let us begin. Cinematic cutscenes. One week ago, my life changed forever. Cinematic. A mysterious woman sold me this little, little box. I opened it in my hotel room, and that's when I met him. Kari was cursed 2,000 years ago, enslaved to whoever owned the riddle box. Right. I can pause this. The game is now way loud. I worried if it would be. Let's just try that. Y you're not exactly, you know, missing anything. Uh, i just like to pause it there to say that Hari was cursed 2,000 years ago in Slave to Ever in the Riddle Box. It's a Chinese riddle box. So is this man either meant to be Chinese or why is he called Hari? He's also seven foot tall and uh, immortal. But there we go. Despite his fierce warrior look. Look at those fierce, fierce warrior looks. He has shown me that he's a good person and I've promised to free him. <whistles> Finding Hari both saved my life and put me in grave danger. You can't do both. He rescued me from an assassination attempt. But Hari's presence also attracted the attention of the evil sorcerer who cursed him. The George Clooney. Magi. With the help of some friends, we fled from China back home to California. I really hope that we're safe now. You're not. But something is still bothering me. When we landed, I called to warn my roommate Kit that there might be trouble. She's not answering. I'm worried about her. Oh no! What's that? Oh no, it's purple effects from 90s cartoons. Oh no, their Jeep. It's ruined. That was the first of many cinematic cutscenes that you will be experiencing. Uh, the first of many. Uh, hopefully not too many, but enough that it's going to be terrible. Um, the we <clears throat> that weird purple light forced us off the road and wrecked my car. I'm going to have to fix the engine and the tire before we can get out of here. I mean, I suppose that's one good thing, is it isn't just like, oh, hurry, fix the thing. Right. Oh no, Hurry's weapon case is empty. Look at his weapons. A knife, 
Another knife, a smaller knife, a razor for shaving, a squigglier knife, a bigger knife, a completely impractical knife, a thin knife, a machete, and a massive great fucking axe. Uh, they were they worked for her and then were laid off, and I think we can all see why. Um, so one of the things we've got to do is essentially all your objectives come up at the bottom here. Um, we've got to collect Harry's weapons. When? So like, look, there's a cookery. I think they're called. Oh, it's a crowbar. Ah, that crowbar started to collect the items for the flat tire quest. And there's like a knife there, and an axe up there, and and there's another one around here somewhere. Because when, because you can move around, you can see by the arrow, you can look, well, I say move around. Um, what's harsh? I, I'm getting major lag here. Um... But no, when the uh, objective is greyed out on the bottom, there's no more items on the screen, so there is still a weapon to find. But sometimes, they're very well hidden, being a hidden object game. Oh no, we now have a flat, because that's literally what the amazing purple light magi did, is he was like, oh, I'm just going to make them crash and give them a flat and inconvenience them for a few scant minutes. Right, so, let's move to the left. Could that thing on the pavement have emitted the purple light that forced us off the road? Um, <laughs> yeah, but I also think we see why. Because this is the thing, is this this art isn't so bad, but the characters just look like... Ugh, no. But look, let's find more weapons. It's the other knife. That's the completely impractical knife. Uh, Flip-flop is apparently not one of his weapons. Uh, that knife is. I would just like to point out the towel here on the first, well, second screen of this game, for those of you who know. Um, there's another knife over there. I'm pretty sure one person will look like Fabio, do not worry. There's also this. It is her journal. Some of the thing have been, and some of the pages are missing. And now I will do a dramatic reading of this lady's journal. Hari was a shapeshifter but his ability to transform into a tiger was stolen from him when he was magically enslaved in the river box. Rip, rip. I've only known Hari for a few days, but my heart pounds when I'm around him. What is happening to me? You're getting a form of disease, I'm pretty sure. Um, also, I just love the wonderful, like, Polaroid, like, this is us on holiday in China. This is the sequel. This is the second of these games. Um, the first being called something different and looking to have worse art in the bits I've seen. Um, so, yeah, there are a lot of things in this game that just don't make any sense because it'll suddenly be like, oh, it's this guy and this happened. And, and you're just like, oh, okay. Cool. Thanks for that. But now we have to also find two journal pages, one of which is there. I would also like to point out that even though I've played a little bit of this, a lot of these items are in slightly different locations, I think, either that I'm just really forgetful. But now we have both the journal pages, we can go back to the journal and put them in. The Magi, the man who cursed Harry, wants the riddle box back. George Clooney wants his box back. The Assassin, someone tried to, uh, someone hired a hitman to kill me in China. Harry saved my life. That's the man with a vengeance, is I assume the hitman or whatever. Rose Apple is her hometown. I think. Yeah, Rose Apple is her hometown. No, we're, we're going towards hometown, Rose Apple. Uh, as you can see, the tire treads lead uh, inexplicably and kind of badly to their tires. So they didn't just go off the road, they kind of skidded and then ended up facing that way. Somehow. There's also another knife there. Um, and also a blue wire, which is to fix the engine's wires, which we will see a puzzle for in a second. You know what, I'm going to let you guys solve these puzzles when they come up, the main ones that are kind of thinky puzzles, because they are easy as all piss. Um, there's a flat tire item over there, and then there's this glowy purple item. I wonder if it could be important. 
I recognise that necklace. There's a necklace behind there. It belongs to my roommate, Kit. This must be a message for me. I can't open the birdcage until I find the lock to the front of it. So you have to... It's unlocked currently, but we have to find the lock to open it. Hmm. Anyway, let's do this shitty puzzle. This is... We are now doing the purple portal in the road puzzle. You can't run forever, Della. It's short for Delilah. Now I have your friend! Uh, this puzzle looks remarkably difficult, and for a split second I was like, oh no, it's like a cross between a spinny puzzle and the mm, ferrets from Nancy Drew haunting a castle Malloy. Uh, thankfully, it's not. Uh, it's much easier than that, and uh, you don't have to kill yourself over it. Because look, you've got two pieces, and they none of them move ones that other ones move, as far as I can work out. So you can literally just go, oh... That matches, and just leave the outer ring there, and then go, oh, that matches, and leave that one there, and then just kind of fill in the gaps. There you go. It's literally just the dumbest puzzle. Oh no! Snakes! And now they're coming back again! And now they're a crater. Crater snake. Uh, we picked up half the lock. Yeah, what is about right, Dave? What is about right? Um, we found another one of his weapons, so we've got one weapon to collect. Uh, we've got one more item for the flat tire around here somewhere. Uh, where could it possibly be? Uh, I don't see. Oh, the tire! I probably should have seen that. Probably should have seen that. Anyway, so now we go back to the flat tire and we fix it. The car is definitely looking more roadworthy now. No, it's it's not. It's so not. Oh look, it's a puzzle, but two of the wires are missing. We've already got one of them, which needs to find the other one. Uh, there is one of Hari's weapons on this screen, apparently. So if, oh, there you go. It's another knife. Fantastic. I found all of Hari's ancient weapons. I don't want to go unarmed or answer any questions about his 2,000-year-old swords. What? Is that... Is that meant to be funny? Why Why would she answer any questions about his swords? What I... Never mind. Never mind. Let's put everything back. Oh look, it's the other wire. So let's do this puzzle. Right, now this is one you get to solve. Can you see all the symbols in sufficient quality? If not, bump up the quality on your stream and look again. Now, what we have to do is drag the wires to connect the pairs of images that go together. So just, you know, tell me when you've worked it out. because it's it will take you all of about 20 seconds. Go on then, Dave. Where does the ant go to? There we go. Dave's on the ball. As you can see, an ant has six legs and a dice has six sides. Trike goes to stool because they've got three thingies. Four to four, the clover to the compass, five fingers on hand, five points on a star, and then one horn on the unicorn, Cyclops. A difficult puzzle for a difficult time. Now our engine is fixed. What engine has pictures of unicorns? Yes, you do, Dave. You're now a level two, Dave. What engine has just unicorns inscribed on it? That is the shittiest car. I mean, I know it's meant to be some kind of car for a psychic, but Jesus Christ. But now we have the lock to lock the cage so that we can unlock it. Um, which is good, because then we can unlock it after we lock it. Um, oh, which reminds me, Dutch, um, I'll, I'll tell you afterwards, but remind me to tell you something about Guild Wars 2. Dave will know what I'm talking about because he linked it. Anyway, now we have to press the buttons in order. This, as far as I can work out, is just another one of those Nancy Drew-esque 
press the buttons, trial and error. Oh look, no. Oh look, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, we can't unlock it. Oh, it's so difficult. Okay. Oh no, we got it. We got the necklace. Good thing I have a psychic affinity to Mackie. If I use it, I might be able to get a vision of what happened. To what's off Kit's ne Kit necklace? Excuse me. Um, yes, our psychic has an affinity for metal. Uh, she gets psychic visions off metal things. Um, it gets better. It's used in a remarkable amount of ways, and you will love to see what happens next. Well, I say better. What I mean is worse. These, this is essentially like that old flash game alchemy, if anyone does it, but also much easier and not like alchemy. You match groups of three or more of these symbols and the area that they're matched over gets golded and you match them until you cover the whole area in gold. Well, enough of the area in gold. You can then keep on going. I assume in expert mode you probably have to cover the whole thing in gold. Uh, but in whatever mode this is, advanced or whatever the hell it is, I'm pretty sure they're going to let me off and only make me fill up a tiny amount of it. <laughs> yes, Dave, really. Alchemy. Did, does anyone remember that alchemy game where you had to like match the symbols next to each other with either symbol or colour and then it got really difficult and you had to try and like cover the whole board? Like, they had it on planes for a while. Fantastic bloody game. Good work, Survivor Eternity. Good work indeed. Oh, it, there, there's a little more... No, there's no more romance. Well, there is a bit, but you'll see. Let's do them, and do them. So this is essentially this whole puzzle. As you can see, it's taxing in a way that only expert brains would be able to make out. Um... Also, there's a wonderful noise if you don't connect three of them. Um, oh, there was a wonderful noise, and apparently it doesn't want to make... Oh, no, that's it. There you go. If you make a pair, but it's already golded, you get this weird little, like, guitar string snap noise. Um, oh, look. Glitter is... Now, I can either finish now or complete the whole board. Um, as far as I know, you don't get anything extra for completing the whole board. Um, I complete the whole board my first playthrough and just got the same picture at the end that I assume you do. You know, the same psychic vision. So, fuck it. Let's click done. Oh, look. It's kit and bits of paper. You're planning to use this against Della? This is another cinematic cutscene. Kitala Bell, you're coming with me. Kit's been kidnapped. Also, oh, I will shut up so you can enjoy the ride. In the vision, Kit was near my sculpture gallery. Uh, Della, using her psychic affinity for metal, is a metal sculptor. Also, I like how in the, 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 the kind of the psychic vision, they use the age-old psychic vision technique of reverse echoing the voices, because that means it's a dream sequence. Uh, yes, so let's um, have a look around this area. This is the town. There is a fountain. There is a van blocking the road to the morgue, um, which we will go into later. Um, there's bits of paper. This looks like the paper Kit had in my vision, the one she tore up. So let's find all the bits of paper that haven't miraculously been scattered to the seven winds. Um, because, you know, newspaper just sticks around like that. Uh, let's go to the Delilah Reese gallery, which is her gallery. Alright, I made it home. I really hope I can find evidence that Kit's still right. Wait a second, what is that on my doorstep? It's a package. Shall we click it? It's a box. Kit says you're good at solving puzzles. Oh look, I have to move the knight to the flag, only using knight moves, which is really, really. Oops, let me do. Oh look, Della, I've got Kit, and I'm not done with you yet. Wen Zhang. 
In this photo, kids look in my tree and my sculpture gallery. Tree sculpture in my gallery, sorry. My personal safe is there. Could they have broken in? in, 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 in. Um, Wen Zhang is apparently a name we should know from the previous game. But seeing as I've not played the previous game, I don't. More bits of newspaper around here. That's that sorted. Uh, is there anything else to just kind of click on? Oh, look. I clicked on a winged creature. We also need to collect winged creatures for reasons you will see in a tiny fraction of a second. Now let's enter the Metalsmith Gallery. More creepy sculptures. That photo had kid looking right at the safe in my tree. What could that mean? Look at this fucking tree, man. I mean, you gotta give it to her. Her psychic affinity for metal does give her a remarkable sculpting ability. Um, let's click on some more winged figures. And there's a bit of newspaper, but it's missing an article, which is obviously what we're collecting bits of newspapers for. And then we can go through here, which is our employees only door. Oh, you'll find out then. You'll find out. Um, I'd just like to remind everyone in the stream at this point that this was made by ex-employees who make the Nancy Drew games. Uh, just, you know, putting that out there. More winged creatures. This is her forge, but we don't need it right now. But it may come in handy later. She uses it to weld and melt metal to create my sculptures. I'm sorry, you don't weld in a forge, as far as I know. Maybe I'm, I'm wrong in this, but I'm pretty sure you don't weld in a forge. My bedroom's up there, but I don't need to go there right now. Right now. Um, right, let's go back and put the sculptures in the tree. I made this tree so that if someone strikes with my safe, the winged creatures must be sitting on their branch. It's an extra level of security. And now we play the safe game. Safe game, we flick the switches and it inverts the row or the column and we have to make the patterns. It's like the whole game. So you can do that, and invert that, and invert that, and invert that. It does look a little bit like the forge in Captive Curse. Yeah, exactly, Dutch. It's it's welding like user grave landscaping, and thank you for returning to you. You do weld with the torch. But, you know, she does have a psychic affinity for metal, so let's just give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe she can psychic weld in the forge. Ooh, Blackmore as well. That's an excellent comparison. Um, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. There we go. And then that... This puzzle is this puzzle is literally exactly the same in easy as it was in advanced. I think it's only expert when you get different puzzles, which is all kinds of disappointing. Oh look, we've opened her safe. My documents are missing. Instead, Wen Zhang left this poster for Kit's next show. The knife I made killed his brother, and now he is trying to get revenge. Uh, I don't know if you saw that. I clicked off too quickly. But on the note, there is a little scribble. Um, oh, wow. Hello. This is the journal. Oh, I'm going to read this because this is her full journal with, you know, everything in it. There you go. Your knife killed my brother and now I have your friend. Will you be able to save Kit? Wen Zhang, who writes like he's carving a Z, like Zorro, with every pen stroke. Uh, this was probably in the previous game, or they just did it and had it happen. We're not sure. Let's find more bits of newspaper. Why they didn't just put it with C's? Like, why Why would you change the K in Cosmo? Or, no, like, you would change the K in Club if the word was a K originally, but both words have been changed for a K. Why would you name a club that? That's stupid. The other people coming, uh, Rachel is coming this fall, uh, which is good to know. Uh, 
Also the Postman Quartet. And... Brassemble? I don't know what that's meant to kind of thing. Valley Ho. Uh, yes, Survive Eternity. <laughs> I see what you did there, Andy. I suppose it is fun saying what they do. Fama Lee Brew. Where's Tally? Under one of these. Um, oh, there's a hand with the nail. Um, nope. There we go. Mark that in there. Yes, you do have to ring. And KK holding these. <laughs> the Cosmo Club. Like, corner. It'd probably be what it is with a fucking K instead of a C. Family brutally murdered with fuzzy underwear. With decorated knife. Yes, it is family brutally murdered with a decorated knife. I love like the people trying to second guess it like it's a real puzzle and not just a shitty, like, jigsaw. Like, do we really need. The slight different picture. I crafted this knife for a special order, and it was used for murder. I only—it was only supposed to be a display item, like the rest of her items are used to be. You know, meant to be used for murder. But this was only for display, and they used it for murder anyway. It's just terribly inconsiderate. Blah blah, Della Reef. Um, Adam Yao is a person of interest in this case. Sorry about me munching a little bit. Oh no! A shadow. Cinematic cutscene, go! <gasps> Who are you? I'm Chinese George Clooney. Oh no. Hm. That would have killed a normal man. He said without moving now his lips. Now I see why my colleague is so interested in you. He also said without moving his lips, and then vanished in a purple fart. Are you alright, Delilah? You were just attacked, and you're asking me if I'm alright? Of course I am. You really are something else, Hari. Yes, immortal. <laughs> this is nothing. I will heal. What did the man leave behind? Um, yeah. Oh no, look, it's a Polaroid of them taking Kit into the Cosmo Club. None of the people in this look right. Especially Harry. He was just hiding. Apparently. I honestly like none of this game makes sense. Like, you you just gotta stop expecting this to make sense. <laughs> that purple flash, it's just like the magic that stopped us in our car. There's a chain bolt locking this door from the inside. Sometimes having psychic powers over metal really comes in handy. And now we have to psychic the metal away. This is one of those like virus puzzles, if you know what I mean. Where you click and it changes it to a certain color and you've got to do it in a certain amount of moves. Um, this is Kit does pose remarkably well for kidnapping. Uh, this game is the only one that's... Oh, this puzzle even. It's not challenging. Challenging is the wrong word. Just, I am bad at these. Oh, there we go. Job done. And this makes us break the metal. So not only can she get psychic visions... She can also just break metal. Hmm. 
let's not question this. Let's just go for the ride. Mm -hmm.